Okay, we've said that life is composed of atoms, such as oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. Atoms are inside of inorganic molecules, such as carbon dioxide and water. And then those molecules, in turn, make up organic molecules, such as carbohydrates and lipids and proteins. Okay, then these organic molecules, in turn, make up organelles, which are going to be found in the cells of your body. So an organelle is going to be a specific structure that has a some kind of a function that goes with it. So that one type of organelle that I would like for you to know about is the cell membrane. So every cell of your body has a cell membrane that keeps all of the other material inside of it. And then this cell membrane is going to be made up of lipids. Okay, inside the cell is going to be the nucleus. So let's just say N for nucleus. So in the nucleus of your cell, uh, that is going to be where the DNA is going to be located at. And then the DNA, there's going to be a copy of it made, and then it's going to come out of the nucleus where it then is going to be turned into a protein. Uh, another part of the, the cell, another organelle that you need to know about is the mitochondria. So I'll say M for mitochondria. So the mitochondria is the power plant for the cell. So that what happens is um, when you eat something, those uh, organic molecules are going to be broken down in the mitochondria and then are going to be used to make energy. Okay, then you can also have another one is called a, a ribosome. And I'm just going to represent it with a dot because they're very, very small. And ribosomes, what their job is, is to manufacture proteins, which then can be used as machines to make all the other parts of the cell. And then there's one more that I'd like for you to be familiar with, and then that is C for chloroplast. Now, uh, animal cells do not have this particular kind of organelle, but plants do. And so the function of the chloroplast is that it is going to take carbon dioxide and water and sunlight, and then it's going to use it to put these things together to make organic molecules such as sugars that are going to make up the plant. And then this is very important because when we eat plants, then we digest those materials and then we can get the energy back out of them. So now, if you look at the picture there, you'll notice it has many, many other kinds of organelles inside the cell. And so if you want to read those, you can, uh, but I would not stress those on the exam. Another thing I'd like for you to notice is look at the size of a prokaryotic cell, which is a bacteria. So a bacteria is uh, the simplest kind of life. And it, it also is going to have a cell membrane, but it, um, it, um, inside of it, it has a very, very simple structure. And notice that the size of a bacteria is approximately the same size as an organelle. And that's going to be a clue as to where did mitochondria and chloroplasts, where did they come from? And so we're going to discuss that in another segment. All right. So uh, next, uh, we're going to talk about how is DNA copied and turned into proteins.